take you away, escape into the music. Oop, 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 oop. Yeah, I'm jamming out here. Anyway, it's Coach Carol on this Transformation Thursday. And I just wanted to kind of come on out with some helpful suggestions about a particular issue that's been coming up over and over again as uh, some members and things have been coming through our doors. And it seems to be happening a lot this time of year as it does a lot this time of year. And it has everything to do with how can I lose that summer fat that kind of you know, comes along with the summer, spending lots of time with family and friends and going on vacations and having parties, friends coming over. And it's like, now's that time of year where you're having a little more time for you time, right? Times to, to settle in, buckle down, kids are at school and it's time for you to like maybe take some time to get back in action where you kind of felt you were after the new year's getting fit and into the springtime right before summer hit. So anyway, coming at you today with some information about three requirements to burn fat and tone up now that you kind of have that time after the summer and before those holidays hit, right? Because those holidays are going to sneak up on us quickly as they do every year. So let's kind of delve into those three requirements to help you lose some of that little bit of extra weight that maybe snuck on over the summer and get ready for the holidays, which are right around the corner. So with that in mind, um, a few things, three things, pretty much simple things that if you can plan into action and implement into your daily routines and lifestyle will help you get back on track to those fitness and wellness goals. So without further ado, we'll help go ahead and get started with number one, number one, controlling your caloric intake. It's pretty much simple math that pretty much every one of us has a caloric need that we have to pretty much maintain our energy levels, our activities for ourselves throughout the day. And there's a way to actually calculate that, put that together and come up with an idea about how many calories we should be having to maintain where we are and not gain weight, right? So caloric, controlling that caloric uh, intake. And if you're wanting to burn fat, knowing how to kind of safely uh, create that caloric deficit where we're not overly depriving ourselves, but we're able to uh, create a caloric in deficit that's going to help us and encourage our bodies to burn calories more and burn fat calories at that right? So there's ways in which to do that. And um, it's pretty much simple math. Um, do some measuring, uh, gather some statistics on ourselves, right? We're all different. And then being able to, being able to um, implement some goals along that way that are going to help us achieve those fitness and fat loss goals, right? So figuring out where we are caloric wise, uh, and where we need to be to lose that one, two pounds per week to get us back on track to our fitness and wellness goals, where we feel most comfortable in our body. We all have that size we feel most comfortable with. We all typically have that weight where we all feel comfortable with, um, where everything kind of fits just right, right? And getting back on track for that, setting that goal, that intention, and then uh, making it happen, right? So there's a few things that come up next that help us achieve those goals. And what are they? We need to con control our fitness and uh, caloric or nutrition environment. So we actually have to control our caloric intake. And now we also have to control that environment, right? In which we uh, kind of surround ourselves in to be able to achieve those goals. So what do we mean by environment, right? So we can start out at our house, right? So our environment in our house, in our kitchens, right? What do we put in our cabinets? What do we place into our refrigerator? What do we put into our pantry, right? 
So thinking ahead and making sure those things that don't necessarily encourage or allow us to achieve those goals, having those potatoes, those chips, those Doritos, ice creams, um, sugary content foods, processed carbohydrates and things like that, keeping those out of our environment, out of our kitchen and out of our pantry, right? Also our environment if we're in driving our kids to school or if we're on our way to work, right? And taking those routes of least resistance, right? Where we don't pass through the Starbucks and pick up the caramel macchiato 800 calorie drinks or, uh, you know, whatever else your favorite kind of, you know, frappuccino thing is there or the McDonald's or, you know, any kind of drive through Dunkin' Donuts, all these places, right? That tempt us, that, you know, kind of spark your interest, especially if you're hungry or if you haven't taken the time to have that snack or um, implement that meal planning along the way and then just having, you know, that right environment. So we have the environment in our kitchen, we have the environment on the roadways when we're driving down the road and just taking those paths of least resistance, right? And making sure that we're not tempting ourselves, right? Um, also, our environments when we go out with friends, right? Or we go into a restaurant and we want to have a good time with our family, our friends and get togethers and things like that, right? So, or we're going to a birthday party or a family get together, you name it. Lots of reasons to celebrate. And yes, we should be celebrating because, hey, we only live once, right? But here's the thing. If you're going into these environments unprepared, then that could cause a little conflict or chaos in our, you know, nutrition and fat loss goals, right? So if we're going to a party, if we're going to a restaurant, taking precautions to help make sure we don't make those wrong choices. So if we're going to a restaurant, maybe having a snack before we go and knowing we're going to order those right foods like salads, guacamole, healthy proteins, healthy fats, healthy carbs, such as fruits and vegetables. And if we're going to a party or get together or having one, having those appetizers and things that are healthy, you know, offering to bring a bowl of fruit or a salad or some guacamole or vegetable dips and things like that, right? So taking those little added extra steps in our environment that are going to encourage us to make those right choices. And then along the way, you're also being that role model for others where they'll just want to do what you do and be appreciative about it as well. Very thoughtful. Right. So we talked about two things so far. One is controlling your caloric intake, right? And figuring out what that is. Very easy to do and implementing a path or plan to get there. And then also controlling your nutrition and fitness environments, fitness environment, right? Putting yourself in the place to get the best workouts, the best, you know, uh, you know, workout that's going to encourage your body to burn fat for fuel, right? What's better than a high intensity interval training, right? Something that's going to create that afterburn effect that's going to keep your body burning calories, fat calories for the next 20 to 30 hours, right? And then there's healthy habit tip number three, which is accountability, right? So we have controlling our calories, we have controlling our fitness and nutrition uh, environment, and now we have accountability, right? Coaching that's going to, and people that you're surrounding yourself by that are going to encourage you to make those healthy choices, right? And support you along the way. Now that could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be your son, your daughter, your sister, anybody, a coworker as well. Sometimes uh, your place of work will, will have competitions and things like that. One of our members was just sharing that uh, with me the other day. And I think that's great. As a matter of fact, she joined our fitness challenge to help encourage her, keep her accountable because she really wants to win her work challenge, which she'll win, you know, several, you know, a couple hundred bucks along the way, which is kind of cool, right? You can go out and treat yourself to something really nice on that, right? <laughs> so... Anyway, accountability. Accountability is everything, right? So 
having that support, having that mentorship, having that group of people that's going to call you, making sure you you're get there, but also knowing you're accountable to somebody and not wanting to let that person down, right? So just that added support, added team, um, recognition and um, just accountability and motivation encourages you to keep on your goals, keep track of your goals, keep working towards your goals and not drawn away from that where sometimes you might have someone you think is accountable say something like, hey, you've been really good this week. You've had that salad today, but hey, now let's have some pizza. Or, hey, you've been really good and, you know, eat, have that nice smoothie or you had your healthy dinners, but you know what? I really want to go to Pizza Hut or to the movie theater and eat a whole bucket of popcorn. You know, a lot of times people, you know, no fall at all, want to go out, have that 800 calorie margarita, right? You know, you know, having fun with your friends, you know, happy hour Friday, whatever it is. But, you know, that's not going to be accountable. Who's that accountable to, right? Who's going to maybe encourage you to make that other choice, like maybe have something lighter, you know, celebrate a little, but something that's more like 100 calories, such as a light beer or something like that, or a watered down sparkling wine or something like that. So we're not telling you to deprive yourself totally of the fun, but making those choices that are going to keep you accountable and uh, you encouraging you to make those, those right choices for yourself and not feeling bad or guilty about it if you don't. So that's what we do here. We give you that extra encouragement. You know, say you haven't been here in a day or two, guess what? we're going to be calling you, right? Making sure you're coming in, in that door and making you that priority and you prioritizing yourself and continuing to work on yourself and whatever those fitness and wellness goals are for you. So what are those three healthy tips to keep you on track? Now that the summer's over, you're ready to kind of slim down those few extra pounds you may have put on ready to stay on track and get on track for the holidays before they get here. Um, and that's three simple things, right? Controlling your caloric intake, easy to do once you find the system that's right for you. Controlling your environment, not allowing factors of influence to come in and wreak havoc on those goals that you have set for yourself. And then also having that accountability team of support surrounding you to keep you on track with your fitness, health, and wellness goals. So, like I said, I've had a lot of people coming through the door here. Seems to be the same kind of thing this time of year. Just wanted to offer up a little bit of helpful suggestions to help encourage you to get on track, stay on track. If you're already on track, kudos to you. And then, you know, get on track to, to where you want to be staying focused and, and all of that good stuff. So little bit of a helpful tip and um, I hope you found it helpful. And if anything, just a little bit of encouragement to, to get out where you want to be. And if at any time, you know, you want to come in, see what we offer here and our battery keeps low battery. So I better be cutting this short a little bit, but anyway, we'd love to have you come try us out high intensity workouts, nutrition, accountability here at Foothills Fit Body Boot Camp and also soon to be Rincon Fit Body Boot Camp. Boot Camp. Have an awesome day on this Transformation Thursday and we'll see you soon. Take care.